Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we'll be looking at this problem that is called count largest group. And all the problem really asks you to do is that given an integer n, each number from 1 to n is grouped according to the sum of its digits. And you have to return how many groups have the largest size. So all this problem is really asking you to do is just list all the numbers from 1 to n and group all those numbers depending upon the sum of their individual digits. So for example, they've given you here that if n is equal to 13, you'll have to list all the numbers from 1 to 13 and then group all those numbers based on their sum of their digits. So all the groups that you'll get, are, uh, they've also listed down the groups that you'll get, which are 1, 10, because the sum of the digits of 1 is 1 and the sum of the digits of 10 is 1 as well. Similarly, you have 2 and 11, so the sum of the digits is uh, 2 because 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and the 2 uh, itself is also equal to 2. Then you have 3 and 12 because the sum of digits of 3 is 3 and the sum of digits of 12 is 1 plus 2 which is 3 and so on. They've just uh, grouped all of these numbers according to their sum of the digits. And you see that the groups with the largest size are 1, 10, 2, 11, 3, 12 and 4, 13. And you have to return the number of groups that have the largest size. So that's what you have to return. The total number of groups that have the maximum possible size. Right. So this problem is pretty easy to implement. All you really need to do is maintain a counter for each of the possible sum of digits you might encounter. So for example, you have to maintain a counter for the times that you get the sum of digits as 1, for all the times that you get the sum of digits as 2, 3, 4 and so on. So for that, we also need to know that how many possible sums do we have and how many possible sums are possible when we add up the digits. For that, you need to look at the constraints once. We see that the constraints are from 1 to 10 to the power 4, that n can range from 1 to 10 to the power 4. And in this uh, range, the minimum sum that is possible is obviously 1. And the maximum sum that is possible would be when you get the number 9999, right? because the range is still uh, 1 followed by 4 zeros. So the maximum uh, number that you can actually get by adding up the digits in this range is when you encounter 4 times 9, because that will sum up to the number 36, right? 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, that ends up being 36. So you need to maintain a counter for all the numbers from 1 to 36, because these are all the possible counts that you will encounter, right? So the first thing that I need to do is create a vector which will maintain all the counts for each of these uh, digit sums. So I'll create an integer vector and I'll call that count and the size will be 37. Why 37? Because this will allow indices uh, ranging from 0 to 36, right? And the highest sum that we can get is 36, right? So we'll create this vector. Now we, uh, we'll just iterate through all the possible numbers that we might encounter. So I'll just go from 4 int i equal to 1 from 1 till n so i is smaller than equal to n plus plus i and i'll just increment the count of each of the digit sums that i encounter in each of the numbers so we'll need another function uh, to find the digit sums let's say we'll call this function dig sum and we'll pass in the current number that we're looking at to that function this function will return the sum of the digits of that number and we'll increment the corresponding count in the count array right so we'll just do that and we need to define the digit sum function as well so all you need to do is simply define an integer function we'll call this dig sum we'll accept an integer parameter and we'll define a variable called int sum and we'll initialize that to zero now this is a pretty easy problem to find the sum of the digits all you really need to do is open up a while loop while n is not equal to zero uh, just add the last digit of that number to the sum variable. So to get the last digit, you'll just do n mod 10, right? And to remove that last digit from this number, because we'll move on to the next digit after this, all we really need to do is divide n by 10. This will just uh, keep adding all the digits, to add values of all the digits to the sum variable. And in the end, all we really need to do is return the sum, right? So once you've done that, you will have maintained a count for how many times each digit sum actually occurred and that will be present inside your count vector. Now, we need to find 
which digit sum occurred the maximum number of times because that will mean that the the most number of elements uh, occurred in that particular digit sum category for instance one if there was uh, let's say for instance in this example when we had n equal to 13 the number the digit sum 1 occurred twice so the count for dig sum of uh, for the count of 1 would be 2 because two numbers occurred with that digit sum right so similarly we need to find the maximum number that is present in this count vector because that will represent the particular digit sum which would have occurred the maximum number of times so to do that we can run another for loop and find the maximum element it's a pretty easy thing to do but i'll just rather do it inside this single for loop itself so that we don't have to iterate again so i'll just define an, a variable called max size and i'll initialize that with zero now i'll just uh, keep checking if the current count is ever greater than the current max size so i'll just write max size equal to max of max size and i'll just get this inside this function like this and this will uh, just maintain the count the largest count that we ever encounter in the array uh, while we are building that array itself right so once you've done that all you need to do is define a variable which will count the number of times the maximum size occurred so we'll create a variable called result or res and we'll just iterate through this count vector again and just see how many times the max size occurred so all you need to do is simply iterate like this for int i equal to zero while i is smaller than the second yeah while i is smaller than count dot size plus plus i and you just uh, every time that the count of i is equal to the max size that is every time you encounter a group with the maximum size you just have to increment your res counter and finally just return the result right so that is how you will solve this problem let's submit this and see if it runs and it does it takes four milliseconds and that is pretty good so this is how you solve this problem so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one